Hello and welcome. Welcome to Moodle for Teachers. My name is Nellie Deutsch and I'd like to walk you through some tutorials to make your Moodle experience on Moodle for Teachers website fun and easy. So let's get started with creating an account and that's done right here. You could also go in as a guest but that won't offer you very much. So let's click on create an account. There's a lot of information that you need to fill in because the website is password protected and the idea is to keep spammers out and your information in unless you want to share your information. So let's get started with a username. I'm going to start with Nelly123 and then password, make sure that it's unmasked. We need to have the following. Allophone, there's one. A number, another one, we need to have eight. Notice the explanation is right here, but just to make it easier. So we've got eight characters, at least one digit, at least you can read all that. Next, I'm going to add capital letter N. And once I get my account confirmed, I can continue by logging in. So this is where the login is. So click on that. Let's do that now. It says I'm logged in. So let's log out so we can do it all over again. All right. So uh, my name is Nelly123. By the way, if you should forget your password, there's no problem. All you need to do is go into forgot your username or password and then decide whether you're going to use your username or your email and then you're good to go. So let me just show you how that works before I log in. Okay, you've got a right to forget. So here it is, username. You add that or your email, but not both. Okay, remember just one. So again, your username if you remember it or your email and then you click on search one or the other and then you follow the instructions so let's go back in okay there I am and notice that my password disappeared which is really important because that means that no one can grab it all right so there I go log in And here I am. All right, so um, I'm going to go into the courses that I want. My course is Moodle MOOCs. So let me go into the Moodle MOOCs and into Moodle MOOCs 6. And here I am. All right, notice there's a calendar of the live events on the right, activities and other things, online users comment box you can add your comments here and other information that i suggest you go through like for example your course administration not everyone has administration you're an administrator even as a student okay so here we are plus your profile please make sure it's updated remember i didn't do such a great job on mine so go into your profile settings and edit now i need to enroll in the course in order to get any kind of administration for the course so let me enroll here we are now i'm fully enrolled self-enrollment you don't need a key again some courses have keys Okay, enroll me. This is a free course, so there's no need for a key. And here we are. We're in the course. Okay, notice what the course has. Communication. That's where I am now because it's white. Next to that is overview and syllabus of the course. Every section also has support. So you can ask questions. So notice the tabs 
week one, week two, week three, week four, and then badges for each week and certificate of completion. Go through each one, see what's available. Okay, for example, if we go into week two, we might not see very much. Okay, but we do. All right, so you can actually go at your own pace, more or less. Okay, we won't keep you, but you won't be able to get your certificate until the very end. So you need to do a few things before you get there. And that includes completing the course. Notice the sections, the introduction, okay, where you're going to get reading task on how to introduce yourself. You'll introduce yourself and go through these. Now, let me just start with introducing yourself. Notice these are discussion forms. You can see them on the right. In fact, you can see all of them, all the activities and all the discussion forms on the right. Now, I went into the discussion forms because I want to show you that you can unsubscribe or subscribe to all the forms and how you subscribe is up to you. So keep that in mind so you don't get overwhelmed with lots of email notifications in your email box. In order to get back, this is called breadcrumbs. I go from right to left and I'm going to go up to Moodle for teachers. Notice if I go beyond that, over here is actually the category. So let's go back to Moodle for Teachers, which is the course. Okay, again, take a look, browse around, get familiar with what's there, because you're going to be editing activities, adding activities, and so on as we go. So right now, in week one, you are a student with student rights. Week two, you'll be a teacher. Week three, you will be a manager where you'll be able to do a lot more in the activities and also manipulate the blocks on Moodle. More about that as we go. So stay focused, have fun, don't get stressed. It gets easier and easier as you go into the site, like anything else. So. Happy moodling.